we did pull a secret rare. All right. $29.29. Damn. Back to back good pulls. That is amazing. All right. I'm actually very impressed with the, the level of pulls we've got so far, so. What's up guys and welcome to another epic unboxing. Today, of course, we're going back to the time of early 2023, a Proton Hypernova. And uh, we're just now getting around to part two. <laughs> yeah, we got really busy, but nevertheless, Joy, of course, in this video is our buddy, our good buddy, our big boy, Mr. Bear, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you guys are looking forward to the continuation of this set. Obviously, we had a bunch of sets come out, so we, we just didn't have time to go back to this to this set, but we finally got some time right now. So without further ado, let's kind of open up the magic that is Proton Hypernova. So guys, with the Proton Hypernova, they still bring back the Starlight Rare in the uh, set. So this one does not have the quarter century rare. For those that may not know, they do not have the quarter century rare. But um, yeah, it was all about the starlight rares, yes. It is. Every bit of it is about the starlight rares at the moment, which uh, currently you got uh, the Ice Blade Dragon starlight rare at $279. That's the most expensive. Oh damn. You, oh damn. It's basically the top two dragons are the most expensive. You've got yourself the Dusk dragon which is at 191 dollars that's the second highest price in this set so hey there's some big bangers in this one but uh hey press the light for luck maybe and also too um we got some extra of these mega packs that we got as well this is from the the 10 of 2023 the dueling heroes that we're going to kind of mix into this and uh go from there but without, without further ado guys without further ado you guys know the drill Press a like for luck. Proton Hypernova. Nova, Nova. Now I don't remember what, what cards we pulled in the last session because it was a long time ago. Um, but I don't think, we, we definitely didn't pull any Starlight Rares. So we'll definitely try to do that in this episode if we can. I think it's three to the front, if I recall. So I can do the card trick perfectly for Miss Safra because our editors for the uh, the, the shorts, uh, she, she, she's, she's me. <laughs> okay, she's not. Okay, she's not. Okay, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna. Throw, she's gonna throw her little, little stuff toy in the camera. Again. <laughs> All right. Anyway. 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 We have the Tenchi Kamamiri. We always like to play jokes on Miss Safra because she, uh, she's never on camera, but at the same time, she does a lot of stuff behind the scenes for us here in another. And a uh, big shout out to her, of course. We have the Kashtira Big Bang. Big Bang. Theory. Uh, we have the Bellatrice Familiar of the Evil Eye. Evil. The Gigantic Thundercross. Thundercross. Core of Chaos. The, the Shell of Chaos. So some more chaosness. <laughs> uh, the Dina Mondo. And I think I did a card trick wrong because we have a we have a we have a card there, um, but you know I think it's so four to the front then. Uh, Galaxy S S Summoner, and the card that I already saw was an ultra rare, the Gold Pride Captain Carry. That's so that actually might be worth something maybe. That looks very very pretty. And this is number eighty eight. It's a good year. It's a good year. Number 88, Starlight Rare. No, it's gonna be a uh, Ultra Rare variant. Go excited for a second. Then. Okay guys, so that's not too bad at $2.34. Very nice for an Ultra Rare, that's really good. Now there is a Starlight Rare variant that, um, that Liam uh, was alluding to, but we did not pull that one. All right, next pack. Let's do this thing. So this time, four to the front. Four to the front. One, two, three, and four. All right, we have the Fierce Tiger, Monguru. Monguru. Uh, we, we saw this one already. The Evil Eye makes a return. Always staring us with those evil eyes. Uh, Cassie Mor Mor Morla? Mor Mori? Mor Mor Mori. <laughs> Wasn't it like a TV show, Mori? Um, I think I, I think there was. I think there was. I, it was 
probably before our time though. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Ice Jade Manifestation. The Chaos Beast. Some more chaos in our lives. <laughs> more chaos than the Chaos Emeralds from Sonic. <laughs> and here's the core of the, that chaos. <laughs> uh, Numeron Creation. The Giant Ball Game. Oops, I dropped that one. I dropped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the ball game. Uh, and then uh, super rare here it is the uh, Galactic uh, Kiribo. So it's a Kiribo card, so super rare. I'm not sure if it's worth too much, but we'll check it out. This is number three. That is at the price of 22 cents. Okay, that's decent for a super rare, it's decent. Now, in terms of like the sets that came out the, in uh, in 2023, this is actually not one. This is actually one of the the, the better sets that came out. Definitely better than uh, Amazing Defenders because that was that was not me amazing. <laughs> uh, we have the Sour Scheduling Red Vinegar Vamoom. The Tally Ho Spruguns. <laughs> Tally Ho. <laughs> Tally Ho. We have the couple of aces, which is funny. It's a, it's actually a, an ace card. Couple of aces. <laughs> <laughs> he has an ace up his sleeve. <laughs> Indeed, he does. Indeed, he does. We have the mental tuner. I think I remember that from a different pack as well. Uh, we have the galaxy ninja. The abyss script dr dramatic story. We have the uh, Diabolantids, I think. Uh, the, um, <laughs> the Menacing Mantis. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't say that word right. The uh, Galaxy 100. And another super rare right here. We have uh, uh, Cardon the Clear Sighted. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. Uh, that is 18 cents, my friend. 18 cents. Before we get into the next Proton Hypernova, let's jump into some of the Mega Packs. This is a, a set that came out later in 2023. And honestly, this is a, actually a pretty good nostalgic set. Not all the cards in this set were gonna be, you know, $200 cards. We knew that for, from, the, from the get go. But there are still cards in there that, that's pretty nostalgic, especially some of the, uh, the quarter century rares. Five and six to the front. We have Lebromancer Firestarter. Uh, Lebromancer Agent. The Runic Dispelling. The Jitsu Art of Dancing Leaves. The Terrors of the Overroot. Uh, Amphibious Bogorot MK14. Oh, sorry, M M MK11. It's the uh, lower ver version. <laughs> we have the Scareclaw Argo, Ar Arc Row. The Weather Forecast. The Weather Forecast for Vegas is sunny, sunny, and sunny. We have the Dark uh, con Contract with Patent License. The Breath of Resurrection. Uh, the Bromancer Prevented. The, uh, the Empress. And then we have a rare here. I think this is the first time I saw this one. The Extra Pendulum. But we're not gonna grade that one, or at least find the price for that one. We have the Laughing Puffin, uh, super rare. Again, we won't price that one. But we will price this one though. Uh, this is a ultra rare. Uh, Samidus, Samison, yeah, Samison, Samsara, Sa Sorrow Cat. <laughs> <laughs> so that is at the price of 13 cents, my friend. Ooh, okay. Another ultra rare here. This is the Black Wing Canuck the Snow Beast. Probably not that high either. Uh, 18 cents, my friend. Okay, now we have a secret rare, the, the 
the Tyrion Dis uh, Coliseum. Uh, that's a little bit better at 44 cents. 44 cents. This car, I think, is actually really good. Um, hopefully. This is, this is the um, this Bistro L Lubellion number 160. So number 160 is $10.53, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, so that is definitely the car to get from this. Uh, this I think that's the, the highest one, right, from this set? The Fenrir comes in at the first place at $14.42. Mm. Okay, it, it kind of bounces between those two. Yeah. All right, we're going, we're going back into the Proton. Oh, yeah. It's kind of crazy to think about, like, you know, we, we opened these packs back in February. Like, we've been doing this for a very long time, you and I, Liam. So, like, uh, and obviously, is, you know, thanks to you guys to tune in, actually care about us and opening these packs. So, our little small little YouTube channel here. Um, so, again, thank you guys. We have the Galaxy Summer, uh, a summoner. The Mental Tuner, we saw this one earlier. Um, Mineruka. The Focus Aqua Mira. Got Focus. We have the Menacing Mantis. For some reason, I could have pronounced that before, but now it's excellent pronunciation. <laughs> the first try. <laughs> uh, we have the Bastille Ball Drake. The Shell of Chaos. And obviously guys, if you guys want to pause the video to read it, because some of these, some of this text is so small, you might have to zoom in quite a bit to read it. The Proton Emperor. And we did pull a Secret Rare. All right, cool. Secret Rare here is the Pressured Planet um, Rafsoff, number 59. Oh yes. Sleeve that bad boy, $29.29. .29. Damn, back-to-back <laughs> -back good pulls. That is amazing, all right. Now, what was kind of funny, like uh, uh, some of these pulls, I was just kind of like pulling just to, uh, you know, uh, lower my, my stack of stuff before I move. But um, I'm actually very impressed with the, the level of pulls we've got so far. So I still got a lot more in, in the pipeline before I actually start really packing up. But um, I, I kind of really start packing up more so probably in a couple of weeks. Like um, I'll start getting a lot more boxes out and start packing for the move. Cause uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't want to carry too much stuff back with me uh, in, into the new house. Um, we have the Vala, uh, Shinri of the Generator Bosses. Waifu, definitely waifu there. Very cute. Show, show that to Liam. Ah, delightful. Yeah, very waifu. We have the uh, Infinity uh, Ant Lion. The Fierce Tiger. I think we saw this one earlier as well. The Galaxy uh, Summoner. Again, another repeat. The Imitating Ore Summonite. G uh, the Gigantic Thundercross. Another car we saw earlier. The Proton Emperor, again, another car we saw earlier. Uh, the Kashira Overlap. And then a super rare, the Chaos Mirage Dragon. Only a super. Probably not worth pricing out, but let's, add, let's look in there. Number 13. That's not too bad at 53 cents, my friend. Oh, super rare? Yeah, that's actually really good. <clears throat> and, and since these packs came out, uh, you know, months and months ago, uh, they finally kind of averaged out and actually, uh, you know, got the more realistic numbers. Um, you'll still, it probably may still depreciate, but you never know. You never know. Now, the question I want to ask uh, Liam here is, um, what do you like more? Do you like the Starlet Rares or do you like the Quarter Century Secret Rares more? I think just because Starlight Rares kind of have that l that newer technology of, of uh, holographic design. Uh, I, I really do well, the, 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 the quarter century, the quarter century is actually a newer technology. That's true, that's true. But I, I think the starlight stood out for me more so than the quarter century. Although, you know, don't bear in mind the whole, the whole kind of card front gets, you know, that treatment. But 
I think it, yeah. if we saw more with Starlight Rare designs, it, it might sway more people to have more of an appreciation for it. But again, you know, that's not to dissuade from. I mean, the Starlight, the Starlight Rare is. Starless Rares has been a thing for, for many years already. So, so obviously a, a lot of people, I think the first Starlight Rare was back in like, I think, I'm not, the, don't quote me on this, but I think it's like 2016, um, but I'll have the correct year over here for the first ever Starlight Rares. So it's been a thing for a while. And then we have, uh, moving on to Kashtira. And then the final card here, super rare, only a super rare. Um, and Propis, the Swamp Deity. We're probably not gonna price this one. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the routine, we'll price it. Uh, number 97. Uh, that's 55 cents, my friend. Not bad. Oh, okay. That's actually really good too. So I'm glad, we, I'm glad we did price it out. Yeah, the one thing I will say about the quarter century secret rares is sometimes you can't, you, it's hard to see the, the name of the, uh, it's hard to see the, the name of the, 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 the font or the, you know, the, the card name versus like the Starlet Rares. But like kind of like what Liam was kind of alluding to, like uh, it does look a lot prettier. Like, uh, like uh, to me, I think the, the Starlet Rares are prettier in terms of like how it looks. Um, the, the only thing I really like about the quarter century rares is, uh, is the fact that they had the emblem right in the, right in the center where it has the 20th anniversary. So that's the only thing I really like about it, but like, I don't know. It's it's almost the same thing, it's almost the same thing. So I I, I, I kind of have to put like two by, side by side, so you know what I'm talking about. But um, for me personally, I, I like the uh, Starlight Rares a, li a little bit more, and I feel like too, they kind of appreciate a little bit higher, so far anyway, than the quarter century rares. I could I could be wrong down the road, but obviously uh, we're still new in the quarter century rares and i think it's only going to be available obviously in the quarter century so we have the soul scheduling we saw this one earlier the abyss actor liberty uh, dramatitis dramatitis i think we saw this one earlier as well cool look cool little like spell card the manicor of smashing the Abyss actor, super producer. He's super. And then we have, we have the Ball Drake. We saw that one earlier. The Exia line. Again, we saw that earlier. The land flipping. And we get another ultra rare. Ultra rare here is the Kashira Rise Heart. Number six ultra rare. Another sleeve worthy card, my friend. $10.14. Good going, man. Wow. This is actually turning out to be a very good opening. Very good opening. All right, guys, next pack, let's do this thing. We still got, uh, including this one, five more. But we still have that, we have that last mega pack right there. And if you're curious what card I pulled for the, uh, the quarter century rare, I'll definitely show that at the end of this video as well. We have the uh, Necro Mirror. The Chaos pla Plastasm. The Sorry of the Silver Wing Axe, potential waifu card. Uh, Tilament uh, Pierre Lagira, also very cute, has a waifu on it. The Ball Streak makes another return. He loves to be on frame. Super Producer. Again, the XC Align, again, we saw that one. The giant ball game, let's not drop this ball. <laughs> and then the super rare, Abyss Actors Dress Rehearsal. So yeah, super rare. And number 63 is 13 cents. 13 cents. I kind of figured it would be as high. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> And here's a cool for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> if only, yeah. <laughs> if only Yu-Gi-Oh has codes to give out to you guys. Uh, we saw this one already. So we're definitely seeing a lot of dupes. The Scarecrow def deflagging. Um, I think we saw this one earlier. Yeah, the Gear Rider bosses. The Circle of Fairies. That's pretty cool. 
This, this kind of reminds me of a card you see in like a Shadow of Colossus video game. Um, you have the Core of Chaos. The Media Rush. The Intimidating Ore. And the Chaos Beast. And we have a super rare here, the Sneaky C. Sneaky C. Well, unfortunately for a sneaky one, it's only 28 cents. All right, we saw this one earlier as well. The top side, or sorry, top stop, time stop. <laughs> if I can only talk correctly. <laughs> the fairies make a return in circles. The Big Bang. The this, this Shell of Chaos. The Gravity Ninja. I don't think you want to give gravity to Ninja. You, ninja would have to be like kind of fluid, you know? Like, you don't want to be kind of honed down by gravity. <laughs> yeah, gravity normally wins the fight in the end. Yep, we saw this one earlier. And then a super rare. This is a new one here. The Abyss Dragon Sword Soul. Only a super rare though. But we'll check out the price. That is 19 cents, my friend. All right, we have two more of the Proton Hypernova, and still of that one Mega Pack, as well as the cards I did pull earlier from the tins of the quarter century rares. All right, we have the Chaos Plastasm, the Bio Insect Armor, a card that even Weevil Underwood would be proud of, the Time Stop. We saw this one earlier as well. The Armored Ninja. <laughs> Dramatic story. Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, bro. Land flipping. Sounds like a real real estate, uh, real realtor guy. We have the Emperor of Proton. And another super rare. Gold Pride, start your engines. <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, that is 24 cents, my friend. All right. Hopefully we didn't pull all the good ones already, but we <laughs> might have, <laughs> we definitely might have. All right, we do have one more pack here, but let's finish off with some more mega packs. The Dueling Heroes. Even though the cards I feel like in the other sets is probably worth more, I, I do like the fact that the, the, the Dueling Heroes is kind of like a nostalgic set for, for old school Yu-Gi-Oh players. As it features like, you know, uh, you know, some of our uh, cards that are, you know, from the, the main protagonists from the, all the, from the, all the generations. We have the Starlit um, Parpillion, I think. Uh, the Preta Plant Triantis. The Doom Broker. Inferma Queen Salmon. You gotta love salmon. I think we're having salmon tonight, actually. Thanks. We have the Iron Digger. The Propon Drag Dra Drake, I think. The Limberbro Intervention. Intervention. Supreme Sea Mare. The Cross Keeper. Not cross dresser. <laughs> we have the displaced, the bonded. This is a new card I haven't seen before. It's the Plant Pl Pl Bufolicula. <laughs> uh, we have a rare here, the Sunlit Sentinel. Probably not worth pricing out though. And we have a super rare, the a Weather Painter Moonbow. Oh uh, yeah, we won't price this one. But we do have an ultra rare here, uh, Drygontic Pendulum, number 205. Uh, that is a 12 cents, my friend. Ooh, wow, that's a really low for an ultra rare. The next ultra rare is uh, Salamander Catalyzer, number 216. It's a bit better, but 16 cents. 
16 cents. What about this Secret Rare Branded Banishment number 102? Ooh, 26 cents, my friend. Surprising. Ooh. What? A, that's really bad for a, a Secret Rare. The last Secret Rare is the Runic Tip 241. Can this make up for it? Prasmatic Rare, sleeve it at $4.45. Okay, okay, so that we definitely made up for, for the last pack then. That's very, very good. Very much happy, very much happy. And I still got more of these mega packs kind of looming around in the, in the abyss there, uh, but we'll definitely pull those more so in a later video. All right, moving on to the next one. The final of the Proton Hypernova. We still have yet to pull a Starlight Rare. Can we somehow get one right here, right now? Press a like for luck. And if you don't, it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have the uh, the boss mix of return. The Abyss actor, Liberty Dramaticus. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing that horribly. The Couple of Aces mix of return. This is actually a cute card. This is like a couple's card. If you're like a, a duel with your, your significant other. The uh, Infinity, uh, Infi Infinity Ant Lion. The Grimness. Gigantic Thunder Cross. The Exia Line. And we get a rare here. The, oh no, sorry, not, not a rare, just a common. The Dyna Mando. And the final card. Unfortunately, it's not a Starlight Rare. It's only a Super Rare. The Gold Pride Nitro Blaster, number 9090. Let me make a guess here. I'll say 25 cents. Ooh, you're off by two cents. 23 cents. Ah, <laughs> I was close, I was close. So close. Oh, so close, but no cigar. <laughs> now, the, the cards that I did pull from the quarter century is, of course, this one right here, we have the Black Rose Dragon. So this is actually a really cool card. This is um, <clears throat> not for the Mega Pack League, from, but the other one that's on top. The Black Rose Dragon, currently at the price of $6.43. That's really good. Now the card, the other card here, is the Dark Magician Quarter Century Secret Rare. Oh yeah. A beautiful $8.84, my friend. Oh yes. Yeah, there you go, there you go. That's how you, that's how, that's how you finish strong. That's how you finish. I kind of knew this, these two were, were gonna be worth something just for this particular video. Cause I did open a couple of tins just for those makeup packs. And these of course was part of that pull. But nevertheless guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of filler-ish episode, but not really. We finally finished up part two of the Proton Hypernova. And of course, we did. We even got some like mega packs. So we kind of like incorporated both of the early of 2023 as well as the later of the 2023. Now, I'm not sure when this video actually goes out, but if you haven't already, definitely check out the rarity collection that comes out in November. Might be already be out, who knows? But anyway, check that video out. It's gonna be pretty epic. We're gonna have some more quarter century rares as well as some new prismatic, like ultimate rares and prismatic, I think, secret rares as well. There's like a bunch of different rarities. And um, we may have some extra special other stuff down the pipeline that, uh, hey, we might just throw up out there out of the blue. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, speaking of tin, something that's uh, kind of brought to my attention right now, uh, if you guys wanna see like a tin versus, like obviously the tin of the, 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 the Dueling Heroes and of course the Pokemon tins and see which of those two tins will win a ultimate versus round of the tins. I don't know. If you guys want to see that, let us know in the comments down below. But that's pretty much all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for the view and we'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. That is my boy, Mr. Bear. And we'll definitely see you next time. Please. Peace.